No worries. It just means it'll be a short battle. It'll be an easy win for Blaster Boy. Oh, it's colour coded as well. Is the it? Two red ones at the top, the two green oh, ones in the middle. Oh, that's Those clever. Do you think they'll be coming out in pairs as well? So it'll be Deoxys and Blaziken up front. I don't know, that's a bit, a bit much, isn't it? Bit much. You never know. <laughs> no, Blaziken and Empoleon. See, now they've just ruined the colour code, haven't they? They've ruined it. Yep. Mm. The best way to do this is to not do this. Liam, what is your favourite fire type? My favourite fire type is Arcanine. Mm, yeah. I like uh, Magwater. In fact, actually, my favourite fire type probably is Chandelure, but I I prefer to refer to that as my favourite ghost type. Mm. Empoleon is confuzzled, and I hope it's actually confused. No, we used Earthquake, shit. Right, <laughs> off to a flying start. Wow, it didn't kill Chandelure, though. That's crazy. That's crazy, Daddy. Do you like Mario games? In reference to your Mario impression. I like Mario games. <laughs> yeah. That's a very in-depth answer. <laughs> <clears throat> do you know what? That's like when I do the quote of the day on um, my playthroughs. And I'm like, what's your favourite um, Pokemon move? Or, no, what's your favourite... Who's your favourite character in the anime? And people will be like, May. <laughs> All right. Do you want to give a reason? No? no? Okay, that, that's all you're giving me, that's fine. Please hit yourself, Empoleon, I deserve it. There you go. Favourite poison type? Hmm. Mikey Whipwreck. Mikey Whipwreck. <laughs> what was your first shiny Pokemon you encountered? Octillery, and it was the colour of vomit. <laughs> 10 out of 10, would shiny again. I think for me, um... It was probably just the, the Red Gyarados in the Lake of Rage. Oh, if we're counting Red Gyarados, then yeah, it was Red Gyarados, but... Uh, really Favourite poison, poison type one. is Skuntank. Because it's kind of bulky, and I love the fact that it's just a massive um, skunk that explodes. Oh, I'm a liar. <clears throat> Survivor. You like Survivor? Like yes. Mm. You can feel the judgement. Am I the only one getting that Ronaldo movie ad? There's a Ronaldo movie? <laughs> what? Liam takes whatever format from the challenger. Yeah, literally, I, I take whatever I can get. <laughs> Liam's easy. I'm easy like pie. My favourite move is Moonblaster. My favourite Pokemon anime character is Ash Ketchum. We didn't go into detail though. <laughs> okay, Sceptile. Ooh, that pressure though. Favourite surfboard type. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, uh, wooden one that's you ride on it. I knew it was going to be Mega Sceptile because you didn't Mega Evolve the Blaziken and the only other Pokemon you've got that can Mega Evolve is Rayquaza which doesn't count as a Mega Stone Mega Evolution. Which means you just made yourself weak to Noivern. Good call. Yes! That's fine. We'll take that special attack dip for that. Deoxys use Energy Ball, that will take out Rollo probably. Oh, please don't. Oh, he's so bulky. He gets the Mega Horn. He's got the Horn, lads. One hit on My a Deoxys for Seeking! Oh, yes! Wait, hang on. Thoughts on Mega Masquerain? Completely unnecessary. <laughs> and probably never gonna happen. Your Fan Seeking is something completely special. It really is. And do you know what's the best part? Is that is a literal that is a legitimately bred seeking. 
I actually took the time to breed Goldeen. Ooh, that Xerneas though. Goldeen. That's gonna blast some moon, that is. That's hey, absolutely Ray, amazing. Quake. The amount of things, the amount of things that I've seen that seeking do is incredible. It's the only Pokemon that I've really, like, competitively understood. Like, I know when to use it, when not to use it, when a convenient time to switch it in is and stuff like that. M Moon 5 Sasun, thanks for following. Fidel Sasun. <laughs> I'm at a point now as well where, because Xerneas is on the field, I don't worry, like, about Noivern going down because... It's done as much as I need it to do. So if it gets Moonblasted this turn, which is the inevitable... Horn Leech! <gasps> what? So much for inevitable. <laughs> Wowza. But it's gone down anyway, but I mean, I was not expecting that. Wow. Opinion on Golurk. Golurk's fine. I love the fact that it kind of reminds me of the Iron Giant. It also reminds me of the Iron Giants from Final Fantasy. Yes, you're right, actually. Yeah, like, big time, especially the ones in number eight. Like yeah. I've always thought they look familiar, but I've never put that together. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. <laughs> <clears throat> it's fine. Me, WPCW, no, WCPW, got Sandow. Yeah, yeah, I saw that, actually. That's insane. Oh, I can't uh, wait for man. their first show. Like, I really want to go, but I can't afford it. It's in, uh... It's in Newcastle, Scotland, right? Newcastle. I think so. Oh, that makes sense. Newcastle. Mads is in the chat. Hey, Mads, how you doing? The king of plushes that started doing awesome Pokemon fusion plushes. The king of plush style. Plush style. Plush style. I've got a cold. I've got a cold. Me. Least favourite shiny. Things like Gengar and um, Garchomp where they don't change very much. Anything that changes into just another shade of the regular colour because I can't tell the difference. Yeah, exactly. And like Pikachu is a rubbish one. Yeah, you're colour blind anyway, Anne. I'm colour blind anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, oh, this Pokemon is only a slightly different shade of grey. It's like it. <laughs> Cheeky girl. I'm not a dog, Liam. It's like in your uh, video about shyness, you put up, you know, two, uh, two examples and they looked exactly the same. Oh, beautiful. Took down the Xerneas. Job done. Nice one, Blaster Boy. Thank you for the battle. 